Last week, we didn't get to this topic, but, and we come back to this topic all the time, but for those people that are, that, that are maybe tuning in for the first couple of times or those people that are just getting into this business, there was a ton of chatter about this topic last week in the Facebook group on, I think, two or three different threads. And people were asking about pictures. Ooh. Do I need real pictures of my property? And I thought we could talk about that a little bit. We had some people say, yes, you absolutely need real pictures of the property. We had some people say, I refuse to buy land outside of my immediate area because I want to get boots on the ground and I want to go there and take pictures and I want to know what I'm buying. And then you had other people on the other end of the extreme saying, you need no pictures. You don't need to go to the land. You don't necessarily need to know exactly what you're buying. So it's kind of an interesting panorama yeah. of people. So you're saying that some people's point was before I buy the property, I want to see it. And other yeah. people's point was that I want to have it for when I market the property. And so there's sort of two different sides there we're looking at, right? Yeah, there's a couple topics embedded in this one topic, I think. So first off, let's talk. We'll never get through this one topic because <laughs> of that, just so you know. First off, let's just talk about pictures. What's your viewpoint on pictures? And I can chime in as well. Mark, you well, can chime in. Would you like me to, to talk about pictures like before I buy or after I buy? Or is it my choice? It's your choice, your choice. But I, I set think you up for that one. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, a lot of people were really talking about marketing. Do they need real pictures to market right. the property? All right, you don't need them, but they can help. I mean, that's the short and sweet answer. I mean, not can not that they can help. They will help. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you don't need them, but they will help. Do I get pictures of my properties? Um, Eighty percent of the time or more, I do. I do. Um, I, I like to have pictures of my property. I like to have drone video of my property. I just like it. Now, could I sell them without it? Of course, but I just like to have those. And I think it's a, it's a nice little add-on to show to my uh, uh, prospective buyers. And like, hey, would you like to see a, a drone video of that property? Great. Oh, I want to go see that property for us. Well, how about this? I'll show you it right now. I have a drone tour of that property. You know, So you don't need it, no. There's plenty of stock photos out there uh, of the area and so on and so forth. But I think it can make your life a little easier if you do have them. I, I think that's an honest an answer. I'll start with that. No, I, I love that answer. Uh, I think it's an honest answer as well. Um, <laughs> you think uh, I'm lying? No, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, here's the thing about pictures. Like, It's amazing what sells when you don't have pictures. I mean, so let's put it this way. Do I like to have pictures of my properties? Sure. Am I paying an arm and a leg to get pictures of my properties? Typically not. Mm -hmm. uh, I will start marketing the property without pictures and I get a, we get a lot of interest. Uh, my favorite way of getting pictures is from somebody who's going out to visit the property. Hey, would you mind taking some pictures for me? I wanna see what's going on out there. Uh, I would be glad to reimburse you for the pictures. And nine times out of 10, they say, don't worry about it. We had fun. And they send you pictures and videos and whatnot. Um, yeah. So uh, the other thing, too, to remember is that a lot of times we work in areas where we worked for years. Now, over years, you are going to collect pictures uh, from the area. And there's no problem with using pictures in your marketing from a property a mile away, as long as you disclose on your website or to a person in a conversation that, hey, I just want to let you know that that this prop, the, the property, the picture that you're seeing is from a mile away. But here are some great aerial views. Here are some great Google Earth overlays. And the property looks very similar uh, based yeah. on, you know, what we know about the area. So, so yeah, I think it's, you know, it's kind of interesting. There were some people saying you absolutely need pictures of the property. And I don't necessarily agree with that. No, I wouldn't uh, there say some... that. There's no rule like that. Uh, they, no, no rule yeah. like that. They'll sell. They'll sell with just regular photos and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, to me, uh, the selling point more than the pitches is the price um, and the easy right. monthly payment and the lack of a credit check and how it just there's a little guarantee in there. I mean, that's the selling point. You know, uh, these people, many of them just want to own land and, uh, 
you know, as an investment and they're not overly concerned with, uh, you know, exactly how it looks and so on and so forth. So it can help, but it's certainly not necessary. Certainly not necessary. I mean, there's times, like you said, where we'll, uh, not times, we do, but people, are, we have, uh, we create an email in our follow-up boss of up, up and coming properties. So there's no pictures of them yet. There's just like a, like, a, like you said, a Google Earth type view, a map to it and so on and so forth. But if you want to cash in early and be ahead of the crowd, take a look at these. They're up and coming. Yeah, and I think, you know, a couple of the comments, uh, you know, they may lead somebody to believe, especially if they're new to this, that you need to be near your property, that you should oh, take yeah. great care purchasing property, that you need to see it. And that's just absolutely not the case, is it? I mean, I'm in Wisconsin. I'm not buying and selling land in Wisconsin. I've done a couple deals in Wisconsin, but my main, you know, my bread and butter deals are out west uh, and in the southwest. Have I been there to see those properties? No, I have not. I can do this from Wisconsin. I can buy and sell land out west. You can do this in Massachusetts yep. and buy and sell land in the south and the west. And uh, and have you had any issues doing that, Mike, in the five years that you've been doing this? No, no. Don't fear if you're not near. Oh, oh, oh. add another quote to the wall, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> don't fear if you're not you, near mz you, <laughs> you see what's going over there?